hello students welcome to my youtube channel in this classes we will discuss about the practical problem of cash book practical problem of cash book that you will able to understand that how to solve the whole matter okay first you have to write here debit okay date received voucher number ledger folio cash bank it is this is double column cash book okay date received voucher number ledger folio cash bank date payment voucher number ledger folio cash bank here you have to write here credit okay this is double column cash book this is not single column cash book or this is not triple column cash book because there are two column cash and bank in single column cash book there are only one column cash account in triple column cash book there are three type of account cash bank and discount okay so now we solve the double column cash book okay now the first entry cash balance seven two zero uh, two zero and bank four three zero zero first you have to write here books of the proprietor name okay books of the proprietor name her proprietor name is Ramesh okay now cash book so here we give the we have to give the uh, date okay second january two balance brought forward 720 4300 720 4300 received from is serene 650 by check on account okay received from is serene so you have to first uh, first you have to know that how to pass the journal entry or what is the journal entry of the transaction okay the journal entry is received from a serin so a serin uh, is the giver okay so cash account debit to a serin account cash account debit to a serin account so we write here to a serin 650 k coli paid 340 for sale of goods to cash okay for sale of goods in cash so we write here cash account debit to sales account here ca to sales account 340 340 cash account debit where uh, cash account debit we write here cash column we write here cash column so cash account debit to sales account 340 cash account debit to sales account 340 we write here in cash column okay now withdrawal for household expenses rupees 120 withdrawal for household expenses rupees 120 this is by drawing account this is by drawing account okay by drawings account 13 b uh, b bansal was paid 300 for machinery by check machinery by check paid 1300 so machinery account debit to bank account machinery account debit to bank account this is a journal entry journal entry. in bank column we write here by machinery account the amount will write here in bank column the journal entry will be machinery account debit to bank account machinery account debit to bank account so in bank column we write here 1300 and we write here by machinery account by machinery account by machinery account okay why i write here by machinery account you have to know the proper knowledge about the ledger posting okay so you will uh, you, you will be understand that why write here by by machinery account first we have to grow through the ledger posting okay now the uh, next withdrawal from bank 960 withdrawal from bank 960 now this is a content this is a content withdrawal from bank if we then the entry will be cash account debit to bank account cash account debit to bank account okay here we write here to bank account withdrawal from bank to bank account and we write here 960 in cash column cash account debit so we write here 960 in cash column to bank account okay and again here we here we write here by bank account in cash column uh, sorry so, sorry here we write here by uh, by cash account in bank column by cash account in 
bank column cash account debit the journal entry will is cash account debit cash account debit to bank account to bank account okay in the uh, in the cash book we can write here to bank account to bank account the amount will be in cash column okay the in debit side in credit side we can write here by cash account by cash account by cash account okay the amount will be in bank in bank side okay here you find uh, here we find that the by cash account the amount will be in bank side so this way you have to pass the contra entry okay now the uh, next uh, goods purchase rupees 240 in cash and 580 by check okay by purchase account the, the entry will be bank account uh, uh, purchase account debit to bank account purchase account debit to bank account purchase account debit debit to bank account so we can easily write write here that we can easily write here that by purchase account by purchase account okay and the amount will be in bank column okay uh, purchase goods here the goods purchase 240 in cash and 580 by check which write here cash account the amount will be go to the cash column and 580 go to the bank column okay 240 cash column and 580 in bank column now the next entry receipt from rahul 500 for goods sold in the last month receipt from rahul rupees 500 for goods sold in the last month okay so we write here as rahul account 500 amount receipt amount receipt okay cash account debit to rahul account 500 we write here to rahul account and the amount have to write in the cash column okay amount receipt just follow one thing that there is uh, uh, there is little bit of you know what is the matter we write here in bracket okay by machine account purchase of machinery by purchase account purchase of goods okay now deposit cash into bank 1400 deposit cash into bank so the entry will be bank account debit to cash account bank account debit to cash account in in cash book i we write the debit side to cash account and the credit side by bank account okay here to cash account 1400 in bank column and here this side by bank account 1400 in cash column okay this is a contra entry this is a contra entry okay this is a contra entry now uh, paid st uh, paid staff salary paid staff salary 1890 paid staff salary 1890 that date will be 29th sorry that date will be 29th okay paid staff salary 1890 sorry the entry will be you know uh, salary account debit to cash account salary account debit to cash account in cash uh, in cash book buy salary account and amount go to the cash column okay sorry one second here do not mention about the uh, about the cash okay so we can think that paid staff salary may be through check okay here not mention cash so we can assume that the uh, the uh, staff salary paid through check okay so salary account uh, so staff salary account uh, by staff salary account 1890 in bank column 1890 in bank column okay now ha uh, paid office rent rupees 200 in cash paid office rent rupees 200 in cash here mention cash here mention cash so we write here as cash okay we write here as cash office rent account we write here as cash okay payment of office rent we write here 200 as cash now you have to total the two, two things total the two column you can say that 
if you total the column 2520 2520 first you have to find that what is the bigger bigger amount okay so you have to total the first things this is a bigger site okay so 2520 you have to write there also 2520 then you have to deduct 12240140200200 after that you will get the 560 amount after that you have to you will find 560 okay now the now this side okay this side you have to total the first the to what is the bigger side okay you have to calculate this is a bigger amount side this is a bigger amount side so it's 6350 uh you have to write here and you have to write here also 6350 from the 65g you have to deduct this 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 and this amount you will get the this amount okay and you have to write by balance cd okay by balance cd and you have to write, uh, write the last date of the uh, last date of the month last date of the month okay and you have to write here two balance bd and this amount you have to carry forward to the next month 31st january 2023 fa uh, 1st february 2023 we have to carry forward 560 and 1620 okay 560 and 560 and 1620 to the next month okay to balance bd 560 and 1620 these are you have to solve the cash book i think you are able to understand the whole thing okay